Hello, this is Ness Tilson here. In my last videos, I showed you how to set up the materials and a list of panels that you have in stock. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write the cutting list into OptiCut. Let's start a new cutting list by clicking on the New Cutting List button up here in the left hand corner. In the New Cutting List dialog box, I'm going to click on the button New to add an item to our list. In the Height box, I'm going to use the length of my first panel, which is 1 meter 75 or 1750 millimeters. In the Width, I'm going to add the width of this panel, which is 870 millimeters. And the quantity, I'm going to add the quantity over here, which is 2. In the grain direction, I'm going to unroll the list and I'm going to put no grain direction because the grain direction is not going to be important for our particular cutting list. I'm going to scroll down the materials list and click Ply OK19, which we've already set up in one of our previous videos. And as a reference, I'm going to just put the letter A, which is here in our list. It's now reference number A panel. On the right hand side we have a few other parameters which we can set up also but we're not going to leave them for the time being. The pre-cut section enables us to do a trim cut on the edge of the panel before we start cutting our real parts. Edges enables us to add edging onto each panel so that the panel will be reduced by the thickness of the edging that you add onto it. For the time being we're going to leave all these sections at zero at their default. Let's click on new again to add another item to our cutting list and let's add our second item here which is item which is one two eight zero millimeters by seven hundred millimeters and our quantity here is just one and our keeping the same materials we're going to put our reference as B and we're just going to keep on doing this and just adding the different items to our cutting list and here we have our cutting list is actually set up we can actually optimize this cutting list straight away now because we have set up the materials and we have set up our stock of panels which can apply with our materials. So if I just click on optimize here, OptiCut will set up the optimization and give us, if I close, all our cutting maps. And we can see here that our cutting maps are ready in my next videos I will be showing you a few more of the advanced parameters of OptiCut that will make your optimization even more efficient and will save you even more material.